Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video here, guys, we'll show you if you have a BMW, guys, X3, and I'm talking about generation E83 and F25. Doesn't matter which generation you have, guys. And you have a battery drain where it kills your battery, guys, overnight, or you leave the car sitting for a few days and it, uh, the battery dies even after you put a new battery. We'll explain, guys, how the alternator could be the reason for that and how to test it, guys. So always test that because uh, you may have an alternator that's actually charging guys pretty good let's say 14.5 volts but the moment you turn the car off instead of guys quit okay the supply from the battery to the alternator okay that circuit it's going to stay open and the electricity from the battery will come back to the alternator and the alternator will drain it guys slowly and your battery will die so that's very very possible guys and we will explain what causes that now okay and how to test if that's uh, your case scenario guys now We'll demonstrate on six cylinder engine, but if you have four six cylinder gasoline diesel engines, all of them should be the same guys. Uh, quick introduction to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos, specifically on BMWs guys. We make more than four to 500 videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Now, if you guys uh, need to buy any okay any tools let's say or parts new alternator or uh, the voltmeter that we'll be using all these things links will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience so step number one that we need to do guys okay let me explain quick we have a bad alternator that we're going to compare to a good alternator and we're going to figure out okay if okay how to know if the alternator is uh, is draining your battery Step number one, okay, disconnect your car battery. This is step number one, guys. Now, it really matters which terminal you disconnect and reconnect first, positive or negative. If you do not know that, check out the video, guys. We'll try to put the link in the description of the video below. Super important, why? Simply because, guys, okay, if you do not connect and disconnect your car battery the correct way, you can cause damage to the electrical systems, you can burn modules, you can do quite a bit of damage, guys. Why you need to disconnect the battery? Because here, guys, we have one positive 12 volt wire that's coming from the uh, from the alternator, and it's going to the battery, guys. This is the charging wire. This is the wire that is going to charge your battery. You will have one nut with 13 millimeter socket that you need to remove and unhook it. If the battery is not disconnected and you touch that wire somewhere, what will happen, guys? Sparks will fly everywhere. You can catch your car on fire. You can injure yourself, or you can burn electrical components, which is terrible, guys, and very expensive to fix in some cases this is the bad alternator this is good so let's go ahead put it to the test and show you guys how we know okay if the alternator is draining the battery both of them are charging really good both of them are performing at 4.5 volts but one of them actually guys kills the battery and let me explain how now so here guys i'm going to put okay the voltmeter will set it at okay diode testing this is the diode testing function here and now i'm going to leave it right there so you can see the action guys uh, the 12 volt terminal okay on this alternator is on the back side this is the one where you attach the wire that's charging your car battery so i'm going to touch the black lead to it and the red one to the casing of the alternator find a clean spot if it's not working scratch it a little bit okay perfect and that should give you guys an idea Usually under the boat is usually a clean spot, that's where I test it. And what we get? 541. Any reading between 5 and 800 is amazing, that's great. And then you grab the leads, you switch them. You put the red one on the charging wire, black one on the ground. At that point you should get absolutely zero guys, nothing. Okay, no reading at all. But you can see, this is good. So let's go to the other one now. The alternator that we know it's bad guys for sure. Okay, perfect. Let's lift up a little bit. Okay, just like that. So you can see the tester itself and you can see the results, guys. Okay, yourself. So I'm going to, okay, put it right here. I think you can see it. Yep. So I'm going to get the black lead, put it on the positive charging cable, red one on the casing. What do we get? About the same, 553, which is great, right? This is good reading. Now, if we switch them, we should get absolutely nothing. But check out what's going to happen now, guys. Okay, what do we have here? Two volts. 
So there is a problem again there guys. That alternator is killing our battery. We should get no reading, but we're getting a reading. So definitely guys, this is the culprit of our problem. That's what's causing it. So hopefully guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time.